everyone, my name is Melissa Dell. I'm an independent sensing consultant, but today's video does not matter what company you're with, it's about getting no's, because no's is the way to yeses. Um, if you've been with your direct sales company for a while, you might have heard in either your uplines group or just across the web about 100 no's. Basically, it's a challenge to yourself to work through your fear or you know, your miscommunication of words, stumbling over your words, to get yeses. Um, whether it's to try new products, or to share sales with people, just kind of working your way through it so it seems more genuine um, and relatable instead of just kind of like cold calls hitting them. And it's a way towards, um, once you're, as you're going through all of them, then you get more confident in yourself, more confident in your business plan, uh, your compensation plan, whatever it is that you're sharing, and then it gets easier. So um, this video is kind of a way to genuinely do that and also tracking for accountability. So I created a printable, and I'm gonna share it later on, and it says working through 100 no's. And they're in sections, so there's 30, 60, and then the last 40 of them. And then down here is to celebrate your yeses. So, when you're approaching this, what I tell my team is that you're trying to build genuine relationships with people that you have met, maybe if someone in high school you went to school with, uh, maybe a past coworker, a current coworker. Although I feel like if you're doing it with messaging with a current coworker, you're just talking face to face and it's a little easier. Um, this is kind of like for one step removed. So what I always suggest to my folks is make sure that if you're approaching them on Facebook or Instagram or whatnot, that you're actually already kind of invested in their life, that you're commenting, liking their posts, being genuine, and um, so when you start messaging them, it's more about them and kind of like saying, oh yeah, it looks like you guys had so much fun at Legoland last week. Like, what did what were your favorite spots? You know, my family, if you have kids, we thought about maybe traveling to San Diego for it um, or whatever. So you're just kind of getting your conversation in. When you're going in for your nose, you're, you have a specific task at hand. Um, for example, let's say you have a product that is a consumable product that you have stock of that you're able to share with people to experience it on their own. For example, I have Scentsy. We have borrow bags where they have a warmer and bars and, and you can hand them out to people. So if you're approaching someone, you've already had a conversation with them, um, they're, they know that you're not out there just for blood, <laughs> but that you're, you care. So you can always say, hey, you know, I know we've been talking for a little while and um, I don't know if you've seen my posts on Facebook. I usually don't share a lot personally with them. It's more on my business page, but um, I like to make sure that the, my family's always safe. I don't have candles around. So I have a borrow bag if you've never tried Scentsy that you can try it for a week and there's no um, push for you to buy anything. It's more just kind of getting your opinion. Was it easy for you to use? Did your family like any sense? And that, not. like, what do you think? Are you up for it? Um, when you're using your sheet, you're gonna have it out as you're approaching. So typically what I do is I'll have like a bunch of people that I'm messaging kind of around the same time because I don't wanna do onesies, twosies. I want it to kind of be condensed. So I'll do like, let's say five people. So if I have five people and one says yes and four say no, then I'd mark off four no's and then I would go down to the bottom and mark off one yes. Now what I did a little bit differently on here is because I'm kind of like a short term goal I like to cheer myself on is that I have sections so it says I reached 30 no's on and you can put the date then it says I reached 30 more no's on and then the last one says I reached the last 40 no's on then and then down here it says I reached 30 yeses on such and such a date and that way it's something for you to have and then later on when you can do it again that you're seeing how you're able to um, shorten that time frame and maybe you have better perfected your relationship with someone and you're able to go in for the kill, I guess, <laughs> a little quicker. So um, what I've done is I have a Google Doc that I'm gonna share the link below and you can sign up for the accountability if you want so that way I'm gonna be keeping track and messaging you via e email um, in 30 days and that way to kind of see like how are you doing and I'm gonna do it for myself as well. Um, but if you don't wanna do that and you just want the form then all you have to do is go to the link and then it's in the description of what the form is for and you can click it and use it for yourself so I hope that you take this challenge on it's a good way to kind of work through how your method is and also um, if you think I don't know a hundred people then that kind of goes back to what your upline might have suggested early on was to kind of work on your list of 100 and kind of brainstorming and branching out 
and as you're in your business longer and doing parties or networking events, your list should be evolving and growing. So you're kind of always having someone that you um, can get a feel for and know that if it would be someone you'd want to work with or want to have as a customer or if they would totally not be cool with that. So I hope you enjoy this and if you like it, um, let me know. Thanks. Bye.